टीसी थायरिस्टर कंट्रोल रिएक्टर इस डायग्राम इज थायरिस्टर इन रिएक्टर ओके कंसीडर्ड इज टी वन टी टू वन नाउ वी आई इज अ वी एम कॉस ओमेगा टी इज अ वोल्टेज अप्लाइड अक्रॉस दिस दिस इज वी आई ओके नाउ This is V I. Now at the alpha, I will trigger this T bar. Hmm. Then I I is equal to V M upon एक्स एल अल्फा ओमेगा टी कॉस ओमेगा टी डी ओमेगा टी वी एम अपॉन एक्स एल दिस इज साइन ओमेगा टी साइन अल्फा ओके कॉल दिस इक्वेशन इज वन नाउ If T1 is triggered at alpha is equal to zero, then I is equal to V M upon X L sine omega T. So this current is obtained. Without this thyristor, means for this condition, this like this only reactor and the voltage is applied across this. This current is E M upon X L sine omega T. Sine omega T. Okay. Now current is. V max XL sine omega t sine alpha. Now I is equal to V m upon XL sine omega t V m upon XL sine alpha. ओके इक्वेशन टू नो द करंट This is IF. This is positive half second, and uh, this component V M upon X L sine alpha. This component will be here. This is minus 
pm upon xn sin alpha okay <coughs> in, in, in negative half cycle of voltage in negative half cycle of in negative half cycle this component of current this vm uh, vm vm upon xn sin alpha reverse this polarity and it become this is vm upon xn sin alpha when alpha is equal to zero no harmonics generated okay when alpha is not equal to zero harmonics generated only odd harmonic generated because this this half wave of current and this half wave of current are identical to each other so that's all even harmonics all even harmonics not generated so as we seen the current equation is uh, if you see this wave this is not this is not a, this is not look like the pure sine wave so hence it has a harmonics so by using fourier series by using fourier series by using Fourier series fundamental current is ma max maximum value of fundamental current is Vm upon xl 1 minus 2 alpha upon pi sin 2 alpha upon pi case 1 alpha is equal to 0 then mx is equal to vm upon xn 1 minus 2 into 0 upon pi sin 0 upon pi so it becomes vm upon xn <coughs> okay case number second alpha is equal to 180 degree then alpha is equal to 180 degree then i max is equal to this is the fundamental current huh? so vm upon xn 1 minus 2 into pi upon pi minus sine 2 pi upon pi so sine 2 pi means 0 vm upon xn 1 minus pi pi get cancelled zero so this is this case alpha is equal to 90 degree so i max is equal to vm upon xn 1 minus 2 into pi by 2 pi 
minus sine 2 into pi by 2 upon pi we have upon x here 1 minus 2 to get cancel pi by 2 to cancel is 1 minus 2 to get cancel sine pi is 0 so this becomes 0 <coughs> at 90 degree alpha becomes 0 so hence control range of alpha 0 to 90 degree now if we plot this i max alpha this is pi by 2 and this value is 1 p in p okay so this graph will come like this one this is 1 minus 2 alpha upon 5 this one is 1 minus sin 2 alpha upon 5 and this is 1 minus 2 alpha upon 5 sin 2 alpha upon 5 So I is equal to Vm upon XL 1 minus 2 alpha upon pi sine 2 alpha upon pi. So I upon XL I upon Vm is equal to 1 upon XL pi minus 2 alpha sine 2 alpha upon pi ok and then this is dl alpha this is dl and this becomes pi minus 2 alpha upon sin 2 alpha upon pi this is equation third hmm. ok then alpha is equal to 0 then tcr become t s r that is thyristor switch reactor thyristor switch reactor vi characteristic This is I, this is V. Okay. This is V max. This is I max. And this is the operation region, operation area.